Part of the reason that people ascribe to super strict diets, choosing either things like paleo or the newest, latest craze, the carnivore diet, really guys, cut out vegetables completely, I don't think that's a good idea. Or they go the other direction and choose a vegan diet, which cuts out, of course, the animal products completely. And what this does is it eliminates those poor food combinations that we talked about yesterday that are super hard to digest, that cause maldigestion, bacterial overgrowth, fermenting and rotting in the gut. The problem with those super strict diets is that we very quickly can become nutrient deficient. High quality fish, eggs, and fermented dairy have so many of the things that we tend to be deficient in. Grains also have lots of nutrients in them like B vitamins that we need. Rather than taking a bunch of pills and supplements to make up these deficiencies, I think it's a much better idea to use a wide variety of foods in our diet so that we don't become nutrient deficient. And proper food combining so you don't ferment and rot those foods in your gut. It's really pretty simple when you have animal protein, chicken, fish, beef, do those things with lots of vegetables and a salad, and then other meals, think about doing more vegetarian type meals where you're skipping the meat in that meal. In general, incorporating more plant-based meals I think is always a good idea. It's much more sustainable and affordable than doing a lot of animal protein. Be sure that your grains are soaked, fermented, or sourdoughed. You can watch my tip number 171. Those processes help to break down the phytates and the lectins and the things that are hard to digest in the grains. Coming up next, more ways to improve digestion.